Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing round four of the exhibition series for Manufacturer's Cup at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. This is one of my least favorite tracks and here I am just trying to gain more experience with it again with the track as well as the car. Um, I'm not getting the time that I want. The best that I could do during practice laps was 133 something and the best that I could do during, do during quali was 134 something. <sighs> this is not looking good today, but I'm just going to fight, right? Do my best to place up there. I found that this GR4 is a bit more manageable for me to drive race in than the, uh, the GR3, which is the Nismo, right? So. I'm feeling better in general about taking this car out. Still just not getting the time. There is, I believe, one other racer. You just saw him at 12th. One other racer with the Nissan in my race, so. Fun stuff. 134.9 was my best quality lap. Seven laps, let's get through this. I did seven minutes worth of quality. I'm always thrown off sometimes by where we uh, start with this auto drive. <sighs> I just realized my ABS is blinking. Does that mean it's on? I'm really bad about turning on my settings, off my settings. Or that crash. I can't nail that turn, can I? I was able to do it a few times during practice. Wonderful. What a battle, right? Nope. I gotta practice recovering better. Wonderful. Seven, seven seconds behind number 17.
Terrible. I need to be better about that. Damn it. Went over the bump. Again. Big ass slowdown. <laughs> nope. I lose so much time, don't I, right there. There's two sections, I believe. I'm terrible at. That's probably T1 and that. The last one in T1. The worst for me. That guy went way off, way off track and I still couldn't catch up. Ugh. 
Oh god, we fucked up. Big time. Lady, what the fuck? I held down too long on the turn. Worst race ever. Ah, couldn't turn in time. Kill me now. I was like, where did that guy go? I was like, that's the second time he went off. Oh my god, that was terrible. I could have done way better. Maybe not, actually. I have no idea. <sighs> I'm glad that's over. This is another, another reason why I feel like not signing on with Nissan again, for me. Not in the GR3, GR4 category, that's for sure. Well, I'm glad that this uh, test series is over. And even though I partially regret signing on with Nissan, partially, um, I'm also partially happy that I did because it's only four rounds. And now I know I cannot absolutely not do this for a regular season where there's more rounds. So I guess it was a good test for me and for um, Gran Turismo to do this test. I really don't know what this, this test was. They're testing out what exactly, but... I'm glad that it's a, it's a short season for me. Obviously, I'm most disappointed in the second mess up that I did later in the race. That was totally me. And it's crazy to think that I made that mistake because I was totally fine when I was doing practice laps yesterday and today. It's, and, I, and I know it's totally different when you're in the actual race. You're pushing a little more. You're, the, the pressure is higher. So you're bound to make more stakes with all those factors involved, right? So I'm just... And the first, the first collision, the other reason I were really going for it, we were fighting a bit. I think I should not have let off the gas a bit. I was taking it easy because I didn't really want to battle it out. But the moment I let, I lightened up, I let off the gas. That's when I lost control of the car. And then it was hard to recover, right? I uh, didn't give up, kept going and going. And you saw how it end, ended. So that's the end. That's the end. That's the end. Uh, if, you, if you guys have any comments or feedback for me, I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. How did you guys do? I'm sure it was way better than how I did. Um, I still love to hear about it. If you're doing the race later today, good luck with that, guys. Tonight, I'll be live and I am going to finish up my IA license. I've got two more rounds and then I can move on and try my chance at the uh, super license stages. So that's what I'm looking forward to now. Now that this test manufacturer cup series is over. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If so, let me know by hitting that like button. I'll be posting more videos soon. So be sure to stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button and ringing that bell. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.